Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and all the dear sweet souls who lie in between, I'm going to rock a three-minute block of ads here to get rid of any pre-roll ads for incoming viewers. As always, your patience is appreciated, and we will get started right after these messages. Good evening. Can't believe it's a Tuesday. Uh, one of the worst days of the week. Anyway, guess I better get this thing started, considering I'm late. Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. I am a your guy, Manic Socratic, joined by my amazing moderators, Gravebook and Navigator Bowman, and together we rock retro here, usually three nights a week. And tonight is the finale of the Sega Genesis Mini. 
Rose Chad Queen, Rose Chad Queen, hello to you. Welcome, Rose. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for popping into the stream. Hope you're doing well today. I see you've been busy the past couple days out here on Twitch and... And oh my good lively bunch here, Contrix and Girl Tricks getting here right off the bat. Wonderful to see. You'll love to see it. My homeboy from way up north, Scissors Deep as well. And Mika, Mika Inox, welcome to you as well. Dropping the big news in my Discord that Pac-Man 99 is happening tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific for Nintendo Switch Online exclusively. That is gonna be so fun. Oh my goodness, Dr. Chorus as well. Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, what day, who, what, Thursday, third day. That is some Dr. Susie and kind of stuff you did there, man. Oh my goodness, gotta give you the shout out hey, as well. Cool. Keeping on with the Dragon Quest, so... Um, Gotta give, uh, gotta give some love to some friends of the channel and community members as well. Today is the first ever, uh, first ever awareness day, uh, some uh, for uh, for individuals who are asexual. So all love to them and their acceptance in the world and letting them be exactly the person that they want to be in life. Um, I can think of Nerdy Minish, of course, Mika, as well as friend of the channel, Guided Line Time. Uh, so at the very least. Um, give a shout out to Lime. Uh, Lime is a wonderful gamer and a wonderful piano player as well. Make sure to check out the streams of Guided Lime Time for some wonderful, wonderful situations to get in. He's just always there to have a really good time. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone has had at least a decent start to their week. I know mine has been a little bit weird, not necessarily a cursed thing, but uh, uh, definitely could have uh, could have done better. Some of that is on me. Some of that is just stuff that was out of my control. But hey, I'm in a condition to sit here and stream, so that's all good to me. <clears throat> uh, so we got a lot of ground to cover, especially for the fact that I'm about 15 minutes late. So, uh, yeah, we should uh, we should get right uh, we should get right on to it. There is a Sega Genesis Mini that demands a bit more of our attention here. So we left off. Uh, we wrapped up the previous Sega Genesis Mini stream this past Friday, with Streets of Rage Two. So now um, we get to enjoy one of the finest. Um, one of the finest arcade conversions possible here. Uh, Strider is really, I think, arcade perfect on the Genesis. Um, so uh, that one I always recall being a uh, being a quarter muncher back in the day. And uh, at least now it doesn't have to munch quarters. And yes, Contrix, I am wearing some brand new threads. All of this came, uh, all of this came in today, in fact. So yes, that is that is a Twitch logo on the hat as well. So. Scissors! Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got yourself a subscription. You kept the sub going. You can use the cool emotes again. Yes, you can. Spray them everywhere that feels good to you, Scissors. Let the people know that you can live the retro dream right here in my channel. So let's get the timer up on the screen and let's set that timer for uh, 15 minutes. As the rule goes, when it comes to the mini consoles, uh, at least that's the tr tradition that I've set up. 15 minutes per game, every game in alphabetical order until all games have been played. So let's rip into some Strider here. And when this, when the Genesis Mini is eventually finished tonight, uh, I've got a special, special thing coming up after this. People who uh, who saw my tweet or uh, are in the Discord saw some pictures of the tasty new toy that I have here for everyone. It's all about being able to play more games and reliving more experiences from the past, so... Released in 1990, this popular action game from Capcom was famed for its acrobatic gameplay used to traverse cinematic and unpredictable stages. Hyru, an elite Strider agent, must save Earth from the Grandmaster's reign. So, let us go in. Let us get going, and I love you, itty bitty Ruby. Let's tear into this. Oop, did not mean to tap that button. 
Yep, and I believe, yep, let's make this easy and let's crank up the lives and uh, that will uh, that will help out nicely, so. So I hope everyone's doing well tonight. If you feel in need to vent, by all means, please do. We're here to we're here to hang out and just have the have the best vibes possible. Uh oh, there we go. The sword sound effect was not kicking in. <laughs> and if you're fast enough on the if you're fast enough to finger bang that B button, then you will be rewarded with damn near invincibility. But yeah, compare this. Many of you who are old enough can remember what the arcade version might have looked like, and this is just astonishingly good. It's time to strider as hard as humanly possible. Oh dang, that was a that was gonna be a health refill too. I put myself in danger. Got these little helper droid bots. And Strider ended up being a really, really fun character in um, uh, in the Marvel vs. Capcom series, too. Okay, is it just me? Because for some reason, it feels like the game is lagging in weird spots. It's some of, some of these movements are not making sense. Ooh, I have an eagle. There we go. There's the health refill I wanted. even though I immediately dash it to bits. There we go. Get a little bit more juice in me. Scissors. Shout out to Elise who just lost another tooth and got out of bed to show you. Aw, dear sweet Elise. I can't wait to meet you someday. You make your parents very proud. Gotta give love to little Elise. Can't believe she's losing teeth, man. She's, she's growing up so fast. So it seems like, based on the architecture, I'm basically invading uh, invading the Kremlin or something. Ooh, is that a sword upgrade? Hell yeah! My blade fills like a third of the screen now. I hope Elise heard me. Hope she knows that the love is coming to her from very far away. Hi, Elise! Ooh, I'm getting hammered by the sickle. <laughs> that is the perfect pose for a stage clear. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, or if it did legitimately catch me in midair. You will never leave your angel alive. I got you. Now I'm in an icy place, being attacked by wolves. These wolves never these wolves have never seen a sword before, so they just can't comprehend what kind of badassery is going on here. How many wolves do I need to kill before I can gain entry here? And, you know, giant robot gorilla. You know, par for the course. Sometimes Strider has some really chaotic movements, and I just can't deal. Oh, come on. But you know, that's 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 the blessing and the curse of a of an arcade game uh, being brought home is that um, 
you get all of the arcade difficulty. So, like, what's the sweet spot on this door? Come on. Oh, I have to hit it from way out here. I can't be up close. It doesn't trigger correctly that way. There we go. I have to make I have to make the dramatic entrance by leaping in. Monkey butt, monkey butt. Oh no! <laughs> what a cheap shot. And I already blew all my lives on the second level. Did I at least get to continue from here? Okay, good. I get a full set of lives here on the second level. There we go. Alright, moving past the monkey. Oop, another cheap shot from down below. Okay, no other game has behaved this poorly, by the way. For some reason, this game has these weird, like, little loading lag times. It's bizarre. Oh, that's cool. I didn't get immediately crushed by... things. Oh, no! Of course, right as I'm jumping for the health pickup. Oh, it's a checkpoint. Sweet. Like, Strider doesn't look that strong, but yet, yet we see him right there, just straight up. Check out that arm strength, y'all. Okay, I think I kind of get it. I just need to chill out and stay on a platform. I don't understand. I was able to get on that ledge before. Combat King! What is going on? We have THE Combat King in the house. This is an intense one for sure. When you've got the Sega Genesis Mini, you've got a, you've got a Rocks and Strider, and it happened to be first up when it comes to, uh, uh, when it comes to the alphabetical order that I'm going on. What is happening, TKK? Everyone, please, drop what you're doing, and drop a follow for the Combat King. Dude is doing the, uh, I, what is it, the, the MCathlon. Uh, he, he is making sure that he goes and he plays literally every Mortal Kombat game. Every, every Mortal Kombat game is on his eternal quest to, to make sure that he, that he not only plays them, but, um, but also one CCs them as well. You like this better than the arcade one? Really? What makes this one better than the ar what, what makes this one better than the arcade experience? Oh jeez, that jump was tough. Oh my god. I have a sword. He has a freaking jetpack and a machine gun. This is not fair. These games need to be stopped. <laughs> Seriously, you're your runs through the Saturn Mortal Kombat's were, were freaking awesome, man. Oh, Arcade 1 is so insanely difficult. Well, see, that's the beauty, I think, of this one, is that you can at least set it to easy difficulty and decrease the and uh, increase the amount of lives you get so that you have uh, an entire crumb of a prayer getting through it. Don't mind a bit of credit feeding, but this game made you feel bad on Arcade. Oh, my God. Oh, look, I'm back to my favorite freaking spot.
Honestly, that sequence of, of leaping and shit was obnoxious. He's got mists too? Ugh, oh, brutal. I, I couldn't help but, but, but like, just laugh at the cruelty of some of those combat tower challenges, Combat King. So, uh, what was it, uh, Saturn Mortal Kombat Trilogy, We you ran into an endurance trial that had freaking five opponents. The, the, amount of, the amount of ways that the Combat King tortures himself or his viewers is uh, completely uh, out of his mind, but it's, uh, but it's good content. When, when, you can, when you can suffer along with, uh, with the streamer, I think that is truly, uh, uh, truly the right way of doing things. Uh-oh, Avalanche, escape! Trust me and we will escape from the city! Okay, good. I'm like, did I just fall into a bottomless pit and not realize it? Oh, I actually did. I I just I just suicided for no reason. I have to sprint this out. Oh, I was supposed to clear that jump. Absolutely wonderful. See, at, at least okay. At, I get I I get to checkpoint this, so this is pretty nice. I've I've gotten a little bit uh, accustomed to uh, to fiery escapes thanks to uh, thanks to Ori in the Blind Forest. Yeah, I'm just gonna that'll be the that'll be what these final three minutes are just timing the freaking pixel perfect jump here to get uh, to clear that gap. Panic Sloth, the lover of pasta, always send nudes to Panic Sloth. Your thickest noodles will do will do the best. Okay, what the shit am I supposed to Where is the sweet spot for the jump off there? Oh my god. How are you, Panic Sloth? I hope all is well. I hope your children are happy. I hope your Nintendo 64 is serving up perfectly perfect dark. Don't mind me, I'll just be dying here for three minutes straight. I did not finish Fable Scissors. In fact, I uh, in fact when I took my brief sabbatical, when I took my streaming sabbatical in March, I uh, I opted to uh, to wipe my streaming slate clean, uh, and I feel like that was the uh, that was the right choice. Um, I did not finish Fable, and I shall not finish Fable. I'm just gonna let Fable rest in peace. All of the noodles. Oh baby, maybe it'll start me from that from the other side of that uh, of that chasm. Oh, perfect. Okay. I don't seem to see a limit on continues yet. Oh great, of course I would die instantly. Yeah, I, I sent I sent Panic Slot the picture of some Castillo y Pepe earlier, and uh, their their mind just completely melted out of their ears. So that's that's just the kind of life I live. If I find some sexy food pictures on Instagram, uh, I'm making sure that uh, that you're gonna get that. And Panic Sloth was accordingly very aroused at all of those noodles. Skyrim on Switch missed it a lot. Oh, Skyrim's a good choice. Oh! Can I, like, destroy these nodes? Come on, now. This is actually a really cool visual effect, though. I gotta give Capcom credit for uh, for doing this. But I think one thing that really helped out this game for the arcade conversion is the fact that um, Capcom CPS-1 arcade hardware shares the same main CPU as the Sega Genesis. So um, there, there ended up being quite a lot of neat stuff that made its way to the Genesis in pretty good... Uh, um, in, in pretty good condition, like, the, the conversion wasn't terrible as a lot of home conversions were back in the day. Panic Sloth slaying dragons and whatnot, oh boy. How, like, I don't know any, I don't know the first bit about Skyrim, like, are you, are you, are you high leveled? Are you deep into it? Do you have a lot of cool gear? At least I know, at least I can, like, somewhat surmise the, the basics of, of, uh, of, of Skyrim and games like it. 
Oh boy, there we go. We are done with Strider, everyone. Womp womp. And that might be the farthest I've ever actually gotten in Strider, so I'm gonna probably save the state there. And let's go back to the main menu. Reset the clock. And we get to move on to Super Fantasy Zone. Another Sega Arcade classic from the 80s. They got buffed up for the Genesis. Oh, and this this Dr. Pepper is uh, is for you, Panic Sloth. Just just to make absolutely sure that you can see I legit have Dr. Pepper going on. I'm a pepper, you're a pepper, etc., etc. Anyway, Super Fantasy Zone. Released in 1992, the final entry in the Fantasy Zone shooter series for the Genesis and Mega Drive. Defeat enemies to collect coins and power up Opa Opa in the shop. Battle across eight new planets. Now, those who were here uh, many moons ago uh, would uh, uh, might recognize this is not the first time I've played Fantasy Zone. Uh, there is a version of Fantasy Zone hiding in the TurboGrafx-16 Mini as well. So I get to dive back into this, and it's actually a really cool concept for a shooter. So let's fire it up. Oh, you just hit level 5. Cheers indeed. Really colorful and beautiful game, though. Like, in spite of the limited color palette of the Genesis, Fantasy Zone ends up being a really, really neat situation. Oh, I forgot about the collab with Sunsoft on that. I like how lives were called players and other stuff, so... Special Shop Bomb. Now I think I will go... Shop Bomb Special. Yeah, I like Shot on A. That feels right. And yeah, we're turning Rapid on. We are we are on cruise control here, y'all. <laughs> We're in the land of Picnica. Aw, oh, this music is fun. Gotta collect them coins. <laughs> A shot balloon, so I can use my Four coins. I have 2100, so that means I can get a. Um... Ooh, a wide beam. Okay. We like our beams thick. I have no special weapon. Okay. That's fine. Let's see what this. Ooh! Ooh! This wide beam has got it going on. Ooh, but it only has limited amounts of energy. I have to be careful with it. Oh, it's on a timer! Robert Headley! Opa, opa! Hey, Robert Headley, good to see you, man. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Hope you're cooking well. I hope Mika's cooking well, too. Mika posts some amazing dishes in my Discord. Uh, Mika posted some absolutely just astounding, um, um, I believe is rice and meat stuffed, uh, stuffed bell peppers, and, uh, you would just absolutely have lost your mind at seeing it. Robert Headley, acid reflux attack from hell, so making some air fryer brats. <laughs> well, you know what? Air fryer brats probably good and stable. Uh, just just hit, hitting a protein break like that is uh, is probably like one of the least offensive things you could uh, you could put inside you. So yeah, get those brats. Okay, I've gotta I've gotta smash all these pods here. Oh boy, gotta love that Sega Genesis bass guitar sound. Yeah, Mika, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't know how you come up with those food creations, your spice blends. There's some artistry in what you do, and it's just, it's so simple, but it's so powerful and effective. Oh shoot, crazy coincidence! Oh, Mika's got brats tonight too. <laughs> what side dishes to go with your brats? Okay, I think I'm gonna make my way out of the first level finally. Oh, since I have third, since I have three thousand, what do, what do, what do big wings do for me? And let me get some more wide beam. There we go. I mean, that's the thing is, 
where where do you get your brats? Are you going for like like you know you could have Johnsonville or you could have a local butcher. I have a single bum. Okay. Ooh. This speed up is feeling good. Okay, this this means the level's over, right? Right? Oh boy! Oh boy! It spawned right on top of me. You have to be kidding me. Shocked to know that Panic Sloth had noodles. Oh boy. Giant pumpkin boss. Were they simple butter noodles, perhaps? Or was there more to them? You know what? I'm going to hit this thing with the bomb first. No! I lost the bomb! Oh wait, I have multiple bombs. Oh no! I like how this boss, this boss seems to use an interesting scan line effect to uh, fade in and out. That would have looked really neat on a CRT. I used all my extra lives. <laughs> okay, now, now, now that I've been recalibrated on what it means to like make it through this game, re actually really cruel of them to start you off dead center of the map and then you have to traverse it all like all the way left and all the way right to to be able to finish it. Shared some food pics you forgot about. Yes, I love how you're documenting your adventures because you never know if you uh, you never know if at any point you need to go back and retrace your steps. More coins, more coins. Just learned egg noodles and chicken broth, so butter noodles. Hey, that. Sometimes it's the simple stuff that tastes the best. Like, I don't know, maybe maybe you dumped in a little bit of onion powder, paprika, something like that. You could even say Panic Slot has oodles of noodles. Oh! The world the game world wraps around! What the hell? How did I never figure that out? Just put Lowry's on everything. You're not wrong. If 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 I I there there are some days some days where I get really lazy and I just want to do exactly that. Lowry's does work on everything. Um, also, oh geez, I forget exactly the brand. It might even be Lowry's, but um, uh, there there's a certain there's a certain chicken carne asada spice blend that I've uh, that I've come across and. Uh, I gotta say, I can't get enough of it. I like to get, uh, I like to get simple roasted, uh, roasted chicken wings from the grocery store, and then I'll spice them up myself. Country Bob's? Ooh. I'm already liking the sound of that. Okay, I need, I need all this. And I have enough for the laser beam too. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be disciplined. I'm gonna, I'm gonna budget myself. Oh, jeez. No! Label looks like Bob made himself using clip art on the computer. That might be the best possible thing, then. That that, that, that lets you know it's, it's coming from the heart. How many phases does this guy have? Creole seasoning panic sloth? Ooh, that's good. Really forces a lot of distance. 
Ooh, that was close. Oh my god! Money, 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 money! That's a lot of money. Oh, couldn't get it all. British girl on TikTok who tries American foods. Everything she does, her eyes roll back in her head. I know what she's doing. <laughs> like, oh, she's finally discovering flavor? Like, honestly, she, she lives right next to Spain and France where they actually do season their food. So, like, I mean, I know Brexit has probably caused some food supply disruptions, but... And yes, Mika, you would use a variety of different things depending on the dish. You you create a symphony of spice. Okay, wings and wide beam and... Jet engine, sure. I had the money. Possessed by Sadako. <laughs> oh, Scissors Deep has seen this girl. She loves a ranch so much. Oh, I think I saw Ranch Girl at one point and she just lost her mind like she just found a new religion or something ah she put ranch on things Americans wouldn't even put ranch on and apparently ranch in the UK produced differently that's unexpected I mean I know there are various reasons why certain foods get made differently in different countries just purely on account of uh, availability of ingredients, legality of ingredients. Things like that. Still blows my mind that Sunsoft had involvement in this game. Can't even deal with the smell. Yeah, ranch is powerful. Um there's there's a um there's a there's a wing joint around here who has their own house ranch and they and they fill it to the brim like they make this shit from scratch in their own kitchen I'm not I'm not kidding they this ranch is heavily infused with dill and it's a wonderful alternate ranch experience never expected dill ranch to be a a worthy combination but it's this mutually assured tanginess that makes it really good whoa 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 girl tricks and you still call her your sister after after doing that I, I I feel like some I feel like that crosses some sort of line like I'm feeling very oh my goodness it's Fraggle Rock what is happening Fraggle Rock the modder of retro consoles the wonderful electrical engineer and educator what is going on Fraggle uh, thank you for sharing your community with me I am Manic Socratic and I have my moderator's gradebook and navigator Bowman who back me up here as we go on many 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 retro adventures Right now, we are wrapping up all the last few games on the Sega Genesis Mini, and very soon, I will be unleashing the Mega Everdrive Pro afterwards, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> Girl tricks, you're sure she's broken somehow. <laughs> Let's get that wide beam action back. I wish I could buy more wide beams. That's okay. Everything is wonderful here, Fraggle Rock. I hope your stream went well. Hope everything went according to plan. And I hope to get my twin Famicom to you soon. What you usually call your sister is not polite for stream. Honestly, like whatever what what whatever sensation is happening inside my chest and my brain right now, it must be what like racists and bigots feel. Ranch and Skittles, they're the, the the human the type of human who would do that does not sound like a pleasant individual like and and I'm and I'm glad that I can be kind of I don't know open about that because you don't like her as you don't like her either <laughs> dinner to eat jetting out ah uh, yes in your capable hands frag everything does go according to plan enjoy your dinner thank you for the raid keep taking care of yourself I'll see you around. See, I've t ooh, I've twenty thousand. Yep, jet engine and a wide beam. It's whatever young boy wants, right? I'm gonna be a rebel and just keep going, keep going leftward. I will, I will continue stabbing westward.
Always enjoyed shmups. Heck yeah. There's there's something about a shmup that's wonderful. Like, just, just when you get in the zone and you're locked in and you feel invincible, like nothing can touch you. Except for right there when I freaking got touched. <laughs> Learn from me. Maybe don't do Filone's Rider after, after a dab. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, Panic Sloth. Oh no. <laughs> that must be a weird sensation. Robert Headley, if you eat a savory food and a sweet food that contain the same chemical components, they generally tend to go together. Maybe it's like that with ranch and Skittles. I can see, like, corn syrup tying them all together. Uh, you know what? Screw that. Ooh! Oh, it pages down! Oh my god! How, how did I just realize this? Uh, seven-way shots? Excuse me? test this out real quick with my remaining 15 seconds. Oh! Yes, baby! Oh, it's time to wreck the entire planet! I am all that is bad. And that is the end of Fantasy Zone. I'm gonna go lock that in, because that was a good situation. <laughs> Shmups always made you feel unworthy. Shmups get absolutely nasty. Alrighty, next up we have... Um, well, this one is actually made... Uh, this one ends up being very interesting, this version of Tetris. <laughs> Scissor Deep gonna try ranch and Skittles tomorrow like some kind of fucked up soup? <laughs> like some kind of... Weird, twisted, filthy bachelor breakfast cereal from hell. <laughs> like, I'm just imagining taking your bowl, pouring in some Skittles, and then throwing some ranch on top of that, and then just scooping it up like cereal. <laughs> Acid reflux cough. Took a swig of dextromorphine. Apparently they sometimes interact. Oh, oh my. Nothing so far. Let's let's hope that things stay calm for you, Robert Headley, because I know your digestive system has rebelled against you a few times before. Tetris, released 2019. The iconic game that captured the hearts of players worldwide and defined the falling block puzzle genre. A mega hit in arcades across Japan. The fabled Genesis port is finally available to play here. Let's go. It's all just fuel at the end of the day, which is not wrong, but sometimes you want to enjoy your fuel. Oh my gosh, that makes it look like this is like a, a real crazy arcade port. Let's go easy. Oh, oh, I can rotate left or right. And then there's the hard drop. Yes, we need hard drops. I can't believe they were all rotate left. Like, no, I need a hard drop button because I'm a pro. Mer Turtle! What's going on, Mer Turtle? Good to see you. I guess you got here just right on time when it comes to your when it comes to some of your gaming skills. I am I am not by any means a, a worthy Tetris player, but I will I will do my best. Oh, that hard drop button is just luxurious. Uh, I cannot praise it enough. Oh no, I hard dropped too hard. You love watching Tetris. <laughs> well, I, I will try to do you proud here. The now since I discovered the hard, that there's a hard drop button on this one, I feel like it's gonna be. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be a good time. Like, I'm okay on Tetris. I'm not, I'm no Tetris beast, but I feel like, you know, every now and then I can hold my own. And, and, and I'm really, like, stress testing myself with, with the hard drops here. Uh-oh. see do I go yeah I think I'll rock it like that and then I don't understand all of the logic on this but I'll 
deal with it. Dropping squares. <laughs> Dropping squares sounds sounds like sounds like some I don't know some some sharks and jets kind of West Side Story talk. Like we're gonna go fight some fight some actual people in the in the establishment. Uh, that feels right. Drop that square there, and I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm fighting the controller too, but I'm probably just fighting myself more than anything. Um, I'll go with that. Oh baby, here comes here comes the drop. Oh yeah, baby, you love to see it. At least I'm not like against an opponent, or else I would be feeling really, really under pressure here and not able to handle it well. Uh oh, we're speeding up. I might not be using the hard drop anymore. Okay, so not too bad, not too bad. Let me get at least get a line here. Sometimes it's not perfect, you know. I keep it tidy. Oh, and there we go. Making some moves to recover here. I really love when I don't have to rotate something that just that that just makes me feel like it's a it's it's an immaculate drop uh-oh uh-oh made a little boo-boo there oh no oh no how can I recover? Made a boo-boo there. Oh, that was close. And okay, I'm I'm about to bomb out here in a moment. Oof. What you got? What you got? What you got? Oh no, I am so bombing out here in a second. Ugh. You just try to open this up here real quick. No, no, I wasn't fast enough. The Genesis controller apparently was not well optimized for Tetris, so yeah. Snaps fingers. Once you're a T-spin, you're a T-spin. From your first hundred points to your last continue. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I got in on the name entry. Well, don't mind if I do. Now, oh, can I keep this up for another eight, eight and a half minutes? Thanks, Panic Sloth. I appreciate I appreciate the vote of confidence about uh, about all that has transpired here so far. Pop, pop, and then I can pop. Just gotta, you know, try to try to not make some of those weird glitches. Dig through the widgets, burn through the glitches, slam in the back of my Dragula, something like that. And let's stack these over here because I really like these L these pieces for stuff like that. Um, maybe I 
I don't usually like doing this, but I'll I'll take that hit and then I can do that. Sometimes you gotta sometimes you gotta compromise and just uh, just fix it up later. And I think there's I, I think there's a specific like frame delay on when you can hit a rotation too, so it's a little jank like that. Did the size of the playfield just change too? What the heck was that? <laughs> Tetra satisfying and heart wrenching. Well, I will try to keep it on the satisfying uh, side of things. Um, yeah, let me go blast this dude away. Then I can. And still not exactly the L-shaped piece I wanted, but I'll deal with it. Oh, this actually worked out better. Maybe I will do it like that. Oh, I'll just, um, yeah, pop this one out. That'll do. Freaking squares! Okay, fine. I get it. I get it. I see what you're. I'm. I'll, I will. I will bend to your will, game. I will bend to your will. Now it's getting a little stressful. Just a little bit. Just a little. That I am managing, thankfully. Let's clear a line. Need to clear another line, but that's okay. I can manage just like that. That opens up some opportunity. Just like that. And maybe like that. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Sometimes it, it's 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 fighting. Sometimes you're fighting the will to get greedy, and then sometimes uh, you end up in panic mode. And it's trying to keep yourself from getting in panic mode sometimes, where the where the real challenge comes into play. And, I, and f I don't know, for some reason, I feel like these aren't rotating the way that I'm used to them rotating, like on Nintendo Tetris, so I'm getting all, uh, I'm getting, too, I'm stressing myself out on this. Okay. Oh no. I'm really gonna blow this because I have to be right on my game. Okay, it took a little bit of the pressure off. Process processors need more blasting. Yes, I, I need, I I need some blast processing here. That was really nice of the game to show me a touch of mercy, just a smidge.
Yeah, sometimes you make decisions that you don't like, but they're just a uh, part of life. Uh-oh. It's doing the thing again. It's doing the thing again. Not what I wanted to happen, but... I'll just try to make the most of it. Seriously, there's some jank here in the peace movement that I'm not a fan of. Nope. Not doing it. Think Sega really nailed that feeling of desperation? Yeah, that that's also the crazy part, is that just because you're playing a Tetris game doesn't mean that you, you're exactly playing Tetris the way you remembered it in a different version. <laughs> Sonic's drowning sound effects, yes. Not what I wanted to happen when I try to make the most of it in my life. Yeah. Yeah, just... Metaphor for life here in Tetris, just being able to barely manage the chaos. Okay, with 90 seconds left, I don't think it's prudent to start another another run of Tetris, but that was really cool how they got that uh, how they got that going. <clears throat> Jump five, scissors deep. <laughs> yeah, the sonic drowning noise is there there's perfection, there's genius in that. So uh one more game, then I will take a uh take a break here. Um Let's see here. All right. Thunder Force 3. I believe there was a... Oh, no. It was Lords of Thunder. Okay. We're going to be back into some shmup territory here. A good Tetris implementation is truly special. Yeah. It's not often you find good Tetris implementations. I mean, you, yeah, there's still plenty of them. But some of them are really special. Like, I, I feel like uh, original Game Boy Tetris really nailed it. Um... And everything else just kind of chases after it. Released in 1990, the third side-scrolling shooter from the legendary Technosoft. Pilot the sticks and equip five different weapons in your war against the Orn Empire, a genocidal cyborg army bent on conquering the universe. Time to get absolutely tore up on another shmup. I feel I feel like this is a game where the first two of these were on the TurboGrafx 16. Ooh, I get to choose my stage, and this music is banging. Hydra, Gorgon, Siren, Hades, Ellis. Might as well start with Hydra. Target gargoyle. Weak point stomach. Oh good. Oh, it's it's a hold the button and it's auto fire shmup. Yes. I've been already. Irish Banshee, what is happening? Hope you're doing well. Happy Tuesday evening. I hope you're done sweating today. I hope you're comfy. Oh! <laughs> Gotta power up right as I got wrecked in the face. I'm also trying to test my boundaries here. Like, is this one of those shops where you can touch the edges or no? Gave the dog a bath. Oh no, Starburst was dirty. Wow. Okay, this is a nasty shmup, y'all. This one comes for you. This one really, uh... Still sweaty, but smell like a wet dog. Oh, set. There's eight credits going on here. All right, can I tweak the mission level? Because I would like for this to be easy. Pretty please. Oh. Oh! Oh, I get to choose my choose my weapon. I have two weapons available. I get to I get to I get to rotisserie fire here. Well, this is a neat mechanic. 
Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, so just to be clear, oh wow, stuff spawning from down there? You have to really be on your toes here, my word. It, th this, th this game really forces you to consider not just like playing defensively and hanging, hanging back, but also like, it really can be to your tactical benefit to rush forward. What level are you on in Doom, Irish Banshee? Okay, I might reset the game just to try different levels, but you know, third time's a charm here, maybe. Just made it to hell, ooh. Once you make it to hell, that's where Doom, that's where Doom 2016 gets really spicy. I, I, you're, 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 you're gonna hit a couple of some of your nastiest fights once you've made it to hell. I think that first hell level is Argent Denur or something like that. Or maybe that's a little later. Pew 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 Emma Cartoon Artist Extraordinaire Streamer as well. Your brand is all over the place. What is going on, my dear Emma? Welcome to the party. Happy Tuesday night to you. I hope all is well. If my hands were free, I could give you the proper shout out you deserve. Am I actually going to defeat this enemy? Oh, I did! I did! Avoiding homework, per usual. I mean, isn't that the eternal struggle, right? Avoiding homework, trying to do all that you can so that you don't have homework, but it still finds a way to force itself upon you. Oh boy! Oh boy, we have hidden enemies. Oh no. Alright, I'm going to use my powerful ass blast here. Oh! I played with fire and I got burned. Oh, and taxes? Oh, you haven't done your taxes yet? I guess, I, I, I guess, given the 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 ways in which you uh, you pull income, um, there's an advanced level of difficulty in doing your taxes, Emma. So, uh, good luck, gun. Good luck and Godspeed and all those other things. Okay, can a brother like at least have a smart bomb, like a uh, at least a screen clearing power up, maybe? Because this is how it goes. I'm holding B to fire, and then I press C to toggle between firing modes. Oh, so there's like a little bit of Gunstar Heroes kind of uh, weapon comboing here. Interesting. Sometimes TurboTax doesn't even correctly account for all that you might need it to. Oh, it's a giant chicken! Giant cyborg chicken. It's a robot chicken. Thanks. Would have been done in February if you hadn't gone and bought a laser and a welder last year. Oh, business expenses. <laughs> you got the good heavy equipment there. Alright, so yeah, let me, um, game reset here. And let's try a different level at least, because obviously I'm not going to just keep grinding the same level here. I've got 15 minutes to sample the game to the best of my ability. Let's go hang out on Siren. Now, there's the mission level, which I don't know how to toggle that. I, I I just gotta live with it. Anyway, let's see what's happening here on Siren. Oh, I'm, as to be, as expected, underwater. And this is, oof. <laughs> Speaking of Sonic the Hedgehog and drowning. Ooh, suck on my sonar. And of course, and of course, cannot touch. Don't touch the walls. Dang, this music is banging. Yep, that's that is that is the shmup in a nutshell. Get good or get going. Yes, I will get. Can I will get. Continuing. Target Kingfish. Weak point. I. Like, at least I got to the boss of the first level. Hmm. 
Woo! And I also end up wanting to avoid the bubbles because when uh, honestly when you're when you're playing a shmup, it just feels like everything wants to kill you as quickly as possible. I chose poorly there, and I keep freaking out at the bubbles. I feel like the bubbles are there as a troll because the worst thing oh my god I just realized that's a vent down there that pushes you upwards into the rocks but like those bubbles are a total troll because when you're playing a shmup you're gonna object track everything everything get good to break a towel stack of quarters Okay, last attempt here on Siren before I go elsewhere. Because this is absolutely filthy difficulty. I need full front, full front, full front guns firing. Like, at least there's zero lag whatsoever when you die and you're brought back. That's the least they could do. And see, those bubbles, I guess, are supposed to be kind of helpful to let you know, hey, there's a vent, you're gonna get pushed down. And I still keep dying right there in that little, that little cavern. Okay, next level. Jeez. Let your weaponry hang free. Rock out with your Glock out. Art on hold, dang, this is what I'm worried about. About to go live on my art twitch in here, and I'm gaming. Can't do both. Well, you know what, art on hold, that's that's one of those decisions you have to really make for yourself uh, that's super difficult, I think, uh, when it comes to twitching, um, is that you're... You're going to run into so many other streamers out there who you adore and who you just want to watch and support. And sometimes the hardest thing is just choking down that sensation of, um, of, 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 you know, that sensation of, oh no, I don't want to, you know, split, split my attention or split viewers or whatever, or take away from what they're doing. Now it's, 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 all, it's all good. You are out there building your own empire with for your own special slice of the world out there so don't even don't even sweat it if you've got streaming in your heart let it out I'm trying to understand the perspective of this of this level and I can't cuz like I'm staring at the ground but we're still going sideways it's odd Oh we're icy we're a little icy Oh dear. What's that? Ooh, yes! Oh my god! You got much to do? Yeah, Art on Hold, you are a busy fella. But yeah, please, uh, feel free to drop a link to your Instagram as well. Art on Hold is, uh, is in fact a wonderfully talented artist as well. Can draw like the absolute dickens. Uh, Panic Sloth can attest uh, to having... Well, actually, Panic Sloth has been the recipient of art from both Emma Cartoon and Art on Hold. So it's, a, uh, it's an artful family in here. Can gain points on two channels at once. <laughs> Something about this dang level that just m forces you into running into stuff. Also, just just to make sure you heard it from from my mouth to your ears, art on hold. Rest in peace, substation. You were the greatest little sandwich shop that was next to a video game store that anyone could ever ask for. Panic saw the luckiest of slots. Art on hold Instagram on pause for right now, waiting until you can maneuver. Ooh. Yes, Emma Cartoon had a um had a thing going on, a, a Kickstarter for some product. Um anyway, uh let's go for a different level with the final three minutes of this game available. And now I wish I could get to an options menu so that I can maybe make things easier. That would be cool. Let's go to Gorgon. 
target twin Vulcan. Weak point search radar. Wait, oh wait, was I just on? Was I just here? Oh no. Wow. Okay, yes, and that's the other hard part is discerning what's background and what's not. Like, screw this. This is just cheap deaths. Insert 15 years of experience to continue. Oh my god, Becky. Let's keep these waves going. Oh, what is this level doing? Like the legend of the phoenix. Quarter vacuum. Gosh, what a perfect time to come in! Yes, Crimson Blades, welcome! As I'm counting down to the final uh, final minute here until I go on break, what is happening, Crimson? Good to see you, dear sweet Crimsy! Yeah, this is... The parallax on this background is absolutely filthy. Like, see, right there, how was I supposed to avoid that death? Like, was I supposed to just know to be ahead of the lava? Dragon birds. I mean, honestly, given... Given their lineage, like... Aren't all birds technically dragons? But not all dragons are technically birds. Ah, I did that to myself. Always got to shout out the fellow streamers out there. We got nothing but love for each other and all the different ways that we entertain each other. <laughs> Rewatching Flight of the Dragon soon. All right, Gorgon, you and me for 25 seconds. Seriously, there's no way to survive that. Like, I even tried getting ahead of it, and no, I got completely stuffed. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rage quitting. I'm going back to the main menu here, so. Oh my goodness, F that game in the face, you guys. Alright, when I come back from break, Toe, Jam, and Earl is coming on up. You got five games left. Rikaku, hey, hope you're having a good evening out there. I hope work is uh, slowing down for you as well. We got uh, we got the fam rolling in here. Way cool. Rocking some retro with your special arcade cabinet. All right, y'all. Um, so yes, it's um, it's that time of the stream. I'll be back in about ten to fifteen minutes. I uh, I need to um, I need to go do some human things because regrettably I am human. Uh, but yes, Toad Jam and Earl. Uh, when I get back, gonna kick some tunes here. And oh, that sucks to hear, Rikaku. I hope I don't know if there's another job out there. Whatever it takes, let's uh, let let's get you back into some regular streaming, man. Uh, what's gonna be a good? Ooh, yes, this is always some good music right here. Scissors deep, if only you knew what kind of butt stuff I was up to. See you in a few minutes, guys.
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, and everyone in between. I'm going to rock a three-minute block of ads here to get rid of any pre-roll ads for incoming viewers. As always, your patience is appreciated, and we will resume right after these messages. Break time successfully locked in. We had a dwarven dynamite and a ghost princess show up. All my freaking love to ghost princess. If it, I, I'd say I don't talk about it enough, but I seriously, if it weren't for ghost princess, I wouldn't have had any of the correct inspiration for when I was first starting out in streaming. Uh, she's been, she's been streaming streaming longer than I have, and she just absolutely kicks all the booty at it. So please, uh, uh, she likes to she likes to stream late. Give give her all the possible freaking love you can, because Ghost Princess is is a pure, sweet, wholesome, uh, sometimes surreal experience uh, that is that is unforgettable to say the least. 
So I hope you all had a good break. I hope you all did human things too. I hope you took care of yourselves, except poor Dwarven Dynamite losing his banjo to Zooey save that he worked so hard on on his birthday stream on Sunday. Dude. Dude, that happened to me actually. Um, I had this amazing 100%ed Banjo Kazooie save. I worked so hard on it back in back in the early 2000s. And then my mom's husband had this little shit of a kid who fucking nuked my save and then pretended to not understand that he did that. M one of many times I wanted to murder this kid. And he's an adult now and I still want to fucking murder him. <laughs> You're so humble, Ghost Princess. Crimson, I'm glad you're following Ghost Princess. Ghost, Ghost will make your life better. For sure, for sure. Alrighty, we're coming into the home stretch here on the end of the Sega Genesis Mini. Let's get it going. We've got Toe Jam and Earl. Released in 1991, Toe Jam and Earl, the funkiest guys in space, explore the bizarre planet Earth in this roguelike action game. Use gift wrap power-ups to keep yourself out of trouble while you look for parts to repair your spaceship. Let's rock 15 minutes of Toe Jam and Earl. One of the funkiest games ever made and has this crazy cult following. I mean... Any, anyone who's into roguelikes is automatically going to be weird. But this this concept for doing a roguelike is is pretty wild. Two player, Toe Jam and Earl. One player, just Toe Jam or just Earl. I think I'm going to um, I think I'm going to be Earl. Earl feels right. Earl Earl Earl, Earl and I uh, understand each other. This is the only game my brother and I would call a truce over, so we could both play. <laughs> You are in the cult. <clears throat> play new game. Jam out. Show intro again. Controller options. Or play new game. Fixed world. Ooh. You know what? Since we're just cruising along on a... Uh, cruising along on a 15-minute situation, we're going to keep it random. Ghost is an Earl man, too. Look at that. Ghost princess rides Earl's dick with her own dick. Earl is a wiener. Alright, I grabbed the gift box and now I'm going somewhere. To somewhere randomly generated. Oh boy. Oh, if I hold A, I sneak. Okay. B is a menu. C is a map. Okay. Okay, but where's your battle toad? <laughs> battle toad, unfortunately, not not here on this Genesis Mini. Sorry to break it to you, Scissors Deep. But if you ask nicely, if you pray to the gods of the ages, maybe Sega will deliver. You snick near the sleepy boy. Ooh, more gift wrap things. So I guess like if I collect all the gift wrap things, then 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 the elevator appears, maybe, possibly. Okay, nothing here for me. Whoa, whoa, the game just terraformed itself. Ooh, a mailbox and another gift wrap thing. Mail order, bye. No, I don't need anything. Nope. Yeah, gotta stay on the edges. <laughs> this game taught us edging. Gross, old cabbage. Oh wait, what's down here? There's just more surface area. A tree? Oh, another package. It's next to Oh no. Oh no, Devil Boy. It's 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 one of the freaking whammies from Press Your Luck. That's exactly what that thing is. More 
let's head in this elevator and randomly generate ourselves another playing area. With these freaking Apple II sound effects. Ooh, a street. Yeah, and that's the thing. I've collected some stuff. I don't even know if I've collected enough for a spaceship. Ooh, those look like french fries. I'm fat, thus I should eat french fries. Now, see how he stays asleep? Indeed. What a concept. If I sneak, he stays asleep. Grave book! Dear sweet grave book. Fries are food, and fr <laughs> potatoes are friends. We love Grave Book. Oh, yes, we do. We love you, Grave Book, and we'll be true. <laughs> money! You like money too? We should hang out. Watching from your phone? Uh, you're. Did you have another super stressful day at work? I know work is weird since you are all, are all like, fully reopened. This time it's a sleeping mouse. Come on, bro. I guess I've done enough. Oh, a little bit more money and then I'll hit the elevator. Money. Boss makes a dollar, I make a nickel. That's why I fuck with the hammer and sickle. Hint, ship piece here. Well, that's a rather convenient hint. No, let me out. Oh no, Santa's here. Oh shit, that really is Santa. What the fuck? And this game got a sequel. This game is weird as shit. And they made... And they made at least two more. Uh-oh. Bees? Pizza. But seriously, bees? Oh, that was moldy cheese, not pizza. Toad Jam and Earl, let's go! Oh, Fart Ripple is part of the cult here. <clears throat> yeah, not just bees, but space bees. What's going on, Fart Ripple? Oh no, I've trapped myself again. <laughs> bees in the trap. <laughs> oh, those are Earth bees? Okay, oh yeah, because we are technically on Earth. Will these bees just eventually get, like, fed up? I'm doing well, Fire hey, Ripple. If you are up in the mornings and you need some streamer action, check out Fire Ripple for some Apex Legends, some Overwatch, and a whole lot more. Oh. That's a big flashing sign. The Amplimator Connector Fin. I survived long enough to get my first shit piece. Hooray. Oh, pancakes? Hell yeah. I deserve pancakes after getting the shit kicked out of me by bees. And a hula girl? Is she hostile? Oh yeah, let's hula together, baby. Uh-oh. Okay, I, I thought I was, like, stuck. She's mean? Oh, oh, why does she have to be mean? I feel like those chunks of pavement are gonna be really nasty later with, like, actual cars on them and stuff. She hypnotizes me. Okay, that explains why I was feeling stuck for a second. Uh, dead fish? No, thank you. No! Okay, like, here I thought I was just getting funky and friendly, but oh no, she stops me dead in my tracks. 
The amount of times you've been killed by bees because of Hula Girl. <laughs> oh, elevator, yeah, let me get the heck out of here. <clears throat> Run on the roads? Okay, maybe I'll try that. <clears throat> Now generating a new level. Ten years. Hey, you know, it's like riding a bike. Ten years is no big deal. Ten years is nothing in Toe Jam and Earl time. And that's the thing, is that even if you're super wrong, it's way closer to being right than I could ever be, because... I'm, this is like the first time I think I've I've legitimately sat down to play this. Gross, that old cabbage. Panic slot, doing that fun thing where you make tennis player noises every time you move so you're laying down earlier than usual. <laughs> the tennis player noises where, where it's like, okay, is this... No, when I, when I think of tennis player noises, it's like, okay, are they in pain or are they having half an orgasm? Like, what does this noise actually mean? Oh, I think I move mildly faster here on the pavement. No, oh, there's a lady and a screaming child. Okay. I will say it's growing on me. Open bonus high tops. Okay. Uh oh, we have a we have a hamster again. All humans are bad, basically. Yeah, because humans don't want to see Earl prosper. And that's the crazy part. These enemies just like normally would seem so benign. Ooh, a telephone. Might I try to answer it? Oops, too many. Oh, cool! Telephone opens more than that! Oh, that's neat! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, each each game world is an 8x8. Eight eight. Okay, well, that's cool. Oh, too many? Okay, so I have a shitload of these gifts. Oh, no! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Make it stop! Make it stop! Good lord. Yeah, just just drop me on the worst possible spot so I die instantly again. This took a turn. How do I deactivate the freaking rocket base? <laughs> Extreme characters are the worst parts of humanity. I mean, obviously we have. Oh, now I'm back on the back on the first part with the whammies. I think. Actually, where the heck am I? Okay, I'm in that region. I think I'm gonna get back in the elevator, but well, there's there's actually so much more to explore if I go west, so let's try it. Okay, someone rip off the metaphorical band-aid and tell you to go to sleep. You get to. You work long hours, you do a lot for your family, you put yourself through a whole hell of a lot. I think you need to go to sleep, Yuga 2. I realize it's going to be unfortunate because you might miss some of Nina Lee, or maybe you're going to wake up just in time to see the tail end of her stream. But I feel like tonight's one of those nights where the sooner you get to sleep, the better off you'll be. The juice is going to be worth the squeeze, my friend, so sleep well. You've already had a good dinner. You've played enough video games. Go to sleep, Yuga 2. Oh yeah, Tuesday she's off, that's right. Days 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 just run together anymore. Uh oh, uh oh, I'm in a I'm in a bind here. Oh no, oh no don't hypnotize me, hula girl. Well, Nina Lee might be doing something fun on her Discord. She does that on her days off, so yeah, there is that too. So I know that's always something worth doing. Um Okay. Does anything happen when I roll up to the trees? Nope. Okay, if, if that's an item button...
Okay, I can drop things. I have rocket skates. Hmm? What the hell? <laughs> no temptations anymore, you get to. Oh, hey, I think I just recovered back to the place where I fell down. <laughs> the door, you love the door. This, this game is so dedicated to being a roguelike, it even has random items. Like, even the items you pick up are entirely random until you actually use them. Yeah, I feel like the trees are intentionally there. <laughs> Sleep while you get to. I'll see you around. Maybe in Bad Rap or Faelin stream or whoever else. And, oh, um, okay. Well, whatever the case may be, I've explored well enough. I think I'll lock in at least a safe state here, and because what am I going to do with five seconds remaining, honestly? So that was the Ghost Princess segment. And next up, we have a wonderful platformer. And I, f I feel like the concept could have been well explored with, uh, uh, with some future games. Um, so sadly, there were only ever two Vector Man games, and Sega's just sitting on a really awesome character. Your ex-sister-in-law just snitched your ex about your other job. Oh shit, Panic Sloth. I really hope that doesn't... I, I really hope the possible ripple effect from that is, is small. Um, cause yeah, I, it seems like that other job is a good thing and I'd hate for it to be ruined for you, Panic Sloth. We should call roguelikes Earl likes from now on. Yes, Ghost Princess is in full support of that. Team Earl for life. Alright, sleep well, Irish Banshee. Thanks for stopping by. Vector Man, released in 1995, plays the robot Vector Man in this action game with must-see fluid animations. The Orbots, Earth's environmental cleanup drones, have rebelled. Vector Man is humanity's last hope to stop the robot revolution. Yes, all the best energy to Irish Banshee to get uh, to get time off approved, so Irish Banshee can see her grandmother. Good night. Best best of luck to you, Irish Banshee. All right, 15 minutes on the clock. Let's rock this. This game had some badass music, and also you can you can play with the. Uh, oh, there's that. There's that monitor. Blue Sky Software. Bang out, bang out with your balls out. He said he isn't upset, more upset by the fact that she felt the need to tell him. He said it's none of his business and just wanted to vent. So better than it could have gone. Wow, that is a shockingly mature response, all things considered, Panic Slots. So good for you. That was that sounds like a, a big bullet dodge there. Wow, that could have gone way worse. All right, <clears throat> let's get orbiting here. Uh, first off, let's try to make this easy. Yeah. Gosh, how 90s is this? The difficulties are lame, wicked, and insane. Um, okay. Information. Oh. oh, well. Let's play. Let's play. I've already burned a minute and a half with doing nothing. It's 2049, and Earth's cities, forests, and ice caps are fouled with toxic sludge. Humanity has escaped to the stars, leaving mechanical orbots to clean up. 
One powerful Orbot Raster oversees the cleanup through a planet-wide comnet. Tragedy strikes when an error attendants connect a salvaged nuclear bomb to Raster's master control circuits. Warhead is born, and he stands for tyranny, hatred, and oppression. By Warhead's decree, Earth is forged into an instrument of death for the returning humans. Vector Man lands his space barge after delivering a load of sludge to the sun. Unhindered by evil mind control, he will not rest until Warhead is defeated and the Earth is again free. Honestly, Panic Sloth, yeah, being... That that sudden shift in niceness has me like, like that that, that just feels suspect to me. I'm like, wait, you, what's with this change of heart? I mean, or or maybe there like is legitimately a uh, a mature response there that like, okay, maybe maybe after some after some anger and some processing, like okay, maybe 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 what happened is really is for the best for for all of us and life is better now. So, uh, so there can be a a clear uh, a clear headed response uh, to this new newfound life of yours. I mean, I guess that's as much as you could a as much as you could ask for. It's it may have taken a while to get there, but you're in a good place now, Panic Sloth. Dubs in how? What is happening, Dubsy? Good evening to you. You are up late as usual, but uh, usually I see you a little earlier in the stream. Um, refresh my memory, Dubs and Howard. What were you working on? Uh, what were you working on for your next video? I think you were kind of taking it back to basics, maybe? <laughs> the, the uneasy feeling, yes. Completely justified, like, like okay, things are good right now, but you, you, you just kind of wonder if things are going to take like a 90 degree turn or do a, com or a, worse, a 180, and you're not going to like the way it eventually turns out. <clears throat> Like, okay, all of this night, like, the niceness feels like it's leading up to some sort of ulterior motive. Triple bypass in the Genesis, you finally got that nailed down after it gave you a lot of hell for a while. But you finally refined what you wanted out of the triple bypass and it's and it's good now. Yeah, I saw you post that, uh, that, uh, some of those pictures of your, uh, of your crispy ass Genesis. Oh, I turned into a nuke. How about that? Tactical nuclear vector man. Lots of different ways to try to fix jail bars without a triple bypass, which I think is also very worth uh, worth discussing when it comes to the triple bypass. Because um, I, I feel like when it comes to the Genesis and the triple bypass, there's maybe uh, that maybe f especially on certain models of the Genesis, the triple bypass is like trying to use a sledgehammer to swat a fly. Like, yes, I know I use that metaphor a lot, but it's it, it's it's a really heavy handed heavy handed solution for certain things, and it might not even be necessary really to uh, to to try to go try to go triple bypass on a Genesis. Some Genesis units are actually just just peachy keen, you know. Um, Especially, you know, not to flex or anything, my Model 1 high-definition graphics Genesis that has the, uh, that has the AXT port, non-TMSS, you know, the good one. Vector Man, totally a game you would have played in the 90s if you had heard of it. Rad as hell in very 90s. Yeah, exactly. I even got an extra life. A lot more straightforward than finding the exact fix for jail bars for your specific model. Oh, really? Yeah, that's true. The triple bypass is... Yeah, it can be heavy-handed, but it's also, yeah, the, the shortest path from A to B to be able to get what you want. Um... 
But maybe, maybe sometimes you want something different. Wow, I dropped a life to that simple little interstitial level. Wow. Just a few minutes in and we're already on a water level. And it already killed me, as water levels should. And not every fix works on every model. Yeah, that's true too, because just the, the hardest part about dealing with the Sega Genesis is that there are so many variants. And even when you think, like, oh yeah, I've got a Model 2 Genesis. No, it's not that simple. It's which version of the Model 2 Genesis do you have uh, kind of thing. Not like, okay. And maybe, and maybe you have that part figured out, you know, do you have a, which, which version of the Model 1 Genesis do you have? Which version of the Model 2 Genesis do you have? Do you have a Sega CDX? Do you have a JVC XI? Do you have, um, there's just so much to it. The Sega Genesis rabbit hole is deep because for whatever weird ass reason, Sega was like, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go buck wild with, with variant upon variant upon variant. I have the ultra rare MK7 CD2 MK Ultra Genesis Master System. <laughs> so, if we're talking in terms of rarity here, that sounds like um, that sounds like you have um, <laughs> that sounds like you have one of the Sega Genesis units that has the EXT port, but somehow has TMSS on board as well. Um. Technically did not cause issues for developers, Scissors Deep, but it also caused, um, I won't say, it, I won't say it really caused anything. What I will say is that it, it probably felt like you, when, it felt like maybe you had grown up on a Model 2, and maybe someone else had grown up on a Model 1, and in the process of all that, um, the game might have sounded slightly different uh, from from how you remembered it. And that's one of the key differences is so many different tweaks to the hardware meant meant these weird little variances with the with the way that the sound chip uh, produced sound um, um, or also a straight up mess with the capabilities of your Genesis. Uh, Model 1 and Model 2 units are just fine. Uh, Model 3 units uh, require extensive modifications if they want to be able to behave like their like their uh, like their older brothers. Um, and you know, do you have a Nomad? And then a Nomad requires other fixes if you want to be able to do stuff like, uh, um, you know, if you want to go buck wild and play 32x on it or something. And even then, it's like, okay, yes, you got a 32x, but do you need the spacer for the 32x to go with your Genesis? Uh, Model 3 Genesis units don't even have, uh, can't support the Sega CD. Um, and there were two versions of the Sega CD, but each version going with Model 1 or Model 2 Genesis units. Oh, geez. And I think I even... Oh, what else did they do for Sega Genesis? There was there was a way... I think there was a piece... I, I don't know if... I don't remember if it was exactly like a PCI card or if it was something else weird like that, but uh, basically uh, there was an add-on for PCs where you could shove cartridges in the front of your PC and play Genesis games negatively. Sega had this really weird fetish for being able to do, to do your shit on the PC, basically. Um... Oh, it's nuking time. Tian Feng was saying the triple bypass lowers the noise floor on the Model 1 plus Genesis 2 cables work with a bunch of different mods. Yeah, that's the other interesting thing about about the... Uh, I what, Maybe one of the more like smartest things the retro community ever did was that uh, was, was choosing the Sega Genesis Model 2 video output port as some sort of universal... Standard for uh, 
for a for being able to get a pin out for video output because uh, it's a really nice little din connector and it does everything you want it to do you can you can wire up a uh, composite rgb uh left and right stereo audio um you have enough pins to do it i don't think you can do s video through it but that's okay because usually, because usually people in that situation, you're you're doing RGB, and you you'll you'll want composite for uh, in the event of C-Sync, and uh, and that's about it. I have no idea what any of those things do, but that's okay. I'm just having a good time, y'all. <laughs> Headed to bed, just saying hi. Hey, it's all good, dupes. Thanks for stopping by, saying hello. I always appreciate it. Whether you're lurking, whether you only type a line in chat, doesn't matter. It's all It's all good to have your energy here. Yes! I think this is now officially the farthest I've ever gotten in, in Vector Man. <laughs> Day four, absolute zero. Um, I think I will lock in a safe state here, but yeah, let's um let's resume. Now I'm in now I'm in the icy watery depths. Duh. Always nice to have the good doctor here. But honestly, this many water levels this early in the game, really, really, um, really telling of how badly they wanted to, uh, to ruin your day. Oof. I got worked. Oh, I'm a fish now. For, I'm a fish for... A second. Great. Oh, I touched the mine. Okay. I think I'm going to call it right here with 30 seconds remaining. So, returning to the main menu. And now for one of the more interesting, unexpected weird things to happen for the Genesis. The Genesis got a port of Virtua Fighter 2, of all things. Virtua freaking Fighter 2. And now there's, it's not like they went with the, um, uh, th they didn't go for the chip that they used in Virtua Racing that enabled polygons. They managed to make, rebuild the game to be Genesis friendly. Virtual Fighter 2, release year 1997. The 3D fighter that became a household name makes its 2D debut. A variety of fighters, each masters of styles like Baji Kwan, Jeet Kune Do, Patrician, and Pro Wrestling face off to earn the title of the world's greatest. If you want three pages, do you have to pick the pages? Uh, you do not have to pick them. I, uh, I, you can allow me to choose them at random. So I better not start the game if you're gonna go hit me with a uh, with a redemption here. Come on, scissors, do it. Also, also, I should have done a little bit of show and tell. Added to my book arsenal is Masters of Doom, the story of the creation of Doom and all that John Carmack and John Romero did uh, when influencing the uh, the game industry. So um, I need to make sure to add this book to the uh, uh, to the redemption. Oh, you're gonna wait. All right. Totally fair, scissors. If you're gonna wait, it's all good. Alrighty, let's um, let's get going on this weird ass Virtual Fighter Two here. Yep, 
Yeah, isn't this already weird? Let's make it easy. <clears throat> Life gauge, largest. <laughs> That's that. That passes for difficulty. Oh, enemy level easy. Sure, I like that combination there. You're gonna wait. Need a bigger crowd. Okay, scissors. Hit you with it towards the beginning of the next stream. Whatever, whatever feels good. I'll see you. I'll be seeing you guys on Friday evening uh, for the. Uh, I think it'll be the fifth day of Ori and the Blind Forest. So. Standard set of characters here. So far, looking very 2D. Their larger portraits still look reasonably like their polygon versions, but... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're right, Robert Hadley. Technically, Virtua Fighter doesn't need to be 3D, but the, but the way that, that Virtua Fighter ushered in 3D to, to the world just was completely amazing. But I will say, it this plays astonishingly uh, close to how it how the original version felt. I said I want to fight with a strong one. Fight one. Ready, go. But I also feel like there was a sense back in the 90s um, that Sega was going to do a heck of a lot more with the Virtua concept, and it and it never did. Like we, yeah, Virtua, Virtua Racing, Virtua Fighter was a really successful series. You just thought there would be much more Virtua things. Most 3D fighters are 2D with sidestepping. Yeah, that is well, Robert Hadley. That is that is entirely true because that's really the. Uh, one of the few ways that you can manage the fight mechanics with any sort of simplicity. Um, there are a couple of genuine 3D fighters out there, but honestly, going 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 a full proper 3D situation is I'm I'm not a fan. There will always be Power Stone, indeed. I really need to put together a Dreamcast medley. <laughs> I just straight up pushed her out. I didn't even actually attack. You should block sometimes, you know. Cold blood in. Oh, snap. Oh, I just got... Oof. So why did they port... Oh, no. The, the Saturn did get Virtua Fighter and Virtua Fighter 2, as well as Virtua Fighter Remix and Virtua Fighter Kids and Fighting Vipers and uh, Fighters Mega Mix. Uh, but for whatever reason, Sega just decided, you know what, we're going to give the Genesis a special version of, of Virtua Fighter 2. Uh, there was even a 32X version of Virtua Fighter. Sega was just... Uh, in, in, in the later part of the Genesis lifetime, Sega was just... Sega was in a bad place. Um, basically, basically, there was a huge rift between Sega of Japan and Sega of America. Uh, Sega of America had actually made the decisions that made the company incredibly powerful and a viable competitor to Nintendo. Sega of Japan, being very Japanese about everything, were being some majorly petty bastards about the entire thing, and being and in these petty squabbles sabotage the uh, sabotage the whole operation basically. 
uh, which caused the 32X, which caused the Sega CD, and then caused very quick abandonment of the 32X in favor of the Saturn. Um, so by the time they got the very excellent Dreamcast out the door, it was too late. All the developer and customer goodwill had been very squandered. And, um, and that's why the Dreamcast only lasted like two years. Plus, everyone knew the PS2 was coming out in, uh, in about a year after the Dreamcast came out. So everyone just held their pennies and held out for the PS2. So yeah, Sega... Sega managed to shoot themselves in the foot egregiously and lasted probably a lot longer than they deserved to last. Finish him! He's looking very finished. He looks ashamed to have been to have been hit with a ring out th that quickly. Ooh, I got in three kicks right there. Oh no! Cage and his launching fucking throw. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? I will punish you. There we go. One ring out deserves another. Fight one. Ready, go. Uh, Jackie, <clears throat> the anti Akira. Nega Akira? Yeah, it, 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 it plays super jank, because you just don't feel that same sense of, of physics and weight and momentum that you do in the 3D versions. So yeah, it's it's only mildly fun. <laughs> it, it's really more of a novelty than anything else. Yeah, I think I, I think if I if I like complete if if I get defeated or if I just um, or if I make it to the to the ending here, I think I'm just gonna call it well before the 15 minute mark because I I, I I I feel like any everything that could be seen in this game has been seen. It it it's it's made it 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 has made its point basically. As much as I want to stay, gonna pass out. Hey, Crimson, you keep being amazing too. You always have a friendly, welcoming experience, and you always rock it out so hard when you mod for Phoenix Pearl. Always good to have you around, Crimson. I'll see you soon. Good night. Don't, don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. <laughs> Mom, can we get virtual fight? Yeah, no telling. No telling how no telling how many times that happened, scissors. I mean getting the wrong Virtua Fighter? Entirely possible. <clears throat> oh yeah, the final boss is Dural. Well Yeah, this is the uh, <laughs> this is the we have Virtua Fighter at home. Oh, Sega, how they tried. And like, there's even some neat parallax going on, uh, going on on the on the stage down there. Like, there's the multiple uh, rolling layers of different things. 
they ported Street Fighter 2 to so many platforms it shouldn't have been on, so why not Virtua Fighter? And well, I guess that's the other part to it, Robert Headley, is that with Street Fighter being inherently a 2D product, like it still sort of made sense to exist on a bunch of different platforms. Virtua Fighter being, uh, Virtua Fighter having its primary gimmick, 3D, being robbed from it, uh, just seemed to be the worst possible move right there. Crazy thinking we might actually be getting Virtua Fighter 5 again. Y yes, indeed, Dwarven. The fighting community is like foaming at the mouth for Virtua Fighter 5. They are. I I, I feel like uh, that's that's been like one of the most anticipated games to possibly make a comeback. Let's get Virtua Fighter 5 going again, and um, uh, balance will be restored to the world. Alrighty. <laughs> Virtua Fighter always felt like jumping in the mud. Yeah, Virtua Fighter is that pacing. Basically, you have to want the pacing. Um, you have to, or, or you have to be willing to get comfortable with the pacing. Wonder Boy in Monster World, released in 1992. Shion, son of a legendary hero, adventures across multiple worlds in this standout of the Monster World series. He'll cross paths with many companions, including fairies, dwarves, demons, and even the child of a dragon. And I also think that's why Robert Headley, why Tekken became uh, such a... Uh, such a well-loved series because the 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 motion the physics everything on Tekken felt so much better than Virtua Fighter which is why it was such a like a fierce competition there then the peace was shattered by an invading army of monsters a young man named Xion vowed to defeat them and make his land peaceful again Ooh, this kid moves slow. Hello, old person. Can I talk to you? Yes, no? Once again, this world is being threatened. The princess has been kidnapped from her Apple castle. You would better use caution. Here's an elixir and firestorm. Take them with you. Make sure you're ready to use magic at all times. <laughs> oh neat. The platform didn't appear until I until I did that. Two gold. One gold. Jeez, you gotta be like pixel perfect on these doors. Um, no, I definitely don't have enough money for that shop yet. Yeah, yeah, bet you learn your lesson, little snake. You got the remake? It's hard because it plays exactly like this. I heard good things about the remake. Uh, that, the, the, that, and, well, especially the, the animation on the remake is beautiful. And this is pretty good music. This is Peraparal Castle. Entry is prohibited. Go away! Do yeah, that thing where you saw between the original. Ah, that's right. That that was the game I was thinking about. Because I saw, like, my life in gaming is obsessed with games like this, and I'm like, okay, you weirdos. Wow, these jumps are excessively tight. 
read guards. I mean, I don't think I don't think it's a I don't think it's a guard's job to be compassionate with a stranger. I'll give the guards some benefit of the doubt. They got to be mean to do their job. I don't know what that bar is under my health. It seems to do things when I attack enemies. Oh, I can swim. Okay, good. I was worried that that was like instant death. Well, quote unquote swim. I can bob along on the on the surface. <laughs> But what if I had an appointment with the king? Well, then then the king would have told the guards. The king would have had the foresight to, uh, to let them know. Enemy health? Oh, that's a good point. Ooh, how do I get down there? And I'm not sure what what exactly it does, but when I um, when I press the A button, character stands still. Music is pretty neat. Ah, I just love when I do nothing and the gold comes to me. Oh no! The crab got me. But he gave me five gold, so I take it. Hmm? What are you? Maybe I should read the sign. You can ride a jellyfish. Wow. Oh, well, that's that's some tricky jumping for such shitty jumping physics. No, seriously, jumping in this game is freaking terrible. Dang it! <laughs> Ah, just barely. Back! Back, Mushroom Beast! Back! I need to go to this inn and rest up with my many, many gold coins. Welcome to my inn! You can have a good night's rest for ten gold. Will you be staying? Yes. Yes, I will be. Good night and pleasant dreams. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Good luck to you on your journey. Seven gold. Dang, I already, uh, I already made back, uh, made back most of my what I spent on hotel. Ooh, armor. You have a discriminating eye. That's chainmail. It costs 70 gold. Would you like to purchase it? That's too bad. Please stop in again. What about a spear? I could use a little bit of uh, length on my on my blade here. It's a small spear. It costs 80 gold. What? And I could buy a shield, but who wants a shield? Well, it's probably the cheapest thing. That's a wooden shield. It costs 50 gold. Imagine that! In Monster World, mushrooms trip you. <laughs> uh, no, I think uh, I think I'll go out and I'll grind a little bit more gold and um, I've heard good things about mushroom trips though, and they can just be therapeutic to microdose it. Like, like just you know, a milligram in the morning, one or two milligrams at lunch. 
two or three for dinner, just to get extra spicy. It's a miracle cure for depression. So I hear. I hear a lot of things. Seventy-one gold? Oh baby. I'm on my way to a I'm on my way to a spear. Back in my youth, I enjoyed the occasional mushroom. Oh, it's 80. Crap. I'm almost there. What do you mean, back in your youth? You're still in your... Oh. You're a father in your 30s. Did help with depression. Well, that's actually good to hear. <laughs> Because it's certainly not fun to keep your brain at bay, and you always want to try to find the least exhausting, most rewarding way of doing that. I'm all about the offense. So, um... Weapon. From a Gradius to a small spear. Oh, baby. I am jabbing like a pro. I'm gonna keep on keeping on, because I only have five minutes remaining, so why not? I think I have an elixir in my back pocket, though, so... So many enemies. At least I'm quickly regaining money. Okay, I'm going into a scary cave. Maybe maybe the right move would have been to uh, go back and purchase some more healing items. Especially because I got hella money already. A sealed door with a music note on it? Interesting. But then there's that pedestal of music notes. Okay, so I fought my way in here. I guess uh, I, there's an item I need to run back and acquire, and I should... Wait, why can't I choose the elixir? What? What's... I have an elixir. The cursor would literally not go on that side of the screen. What the hell? Oh, well, at least I'm making crazy amounts of gold on my way back, assuming I survive. You play the scissors? Um, yeah, you you should be able to play it for modern platforms if you have, uh, I, believe, I, I believe it's out on Switch. I don't know if you have your Nintendo Switch yet, but I know you were working on it. Or you're at least heavily weighing it out. Oh, the elixir automatically kicked in! Well, shit, now I have enough gold for an elixir and some armor. You have a discriminating eye! That's medicine! It costs 10 gold! Would you like to purchase? Thank you very much! Oh. You set up that entire shop so you could sell exactly one medicine. Not yet, they're still sold out everywhere. Wow, I thought Switch supplies were getting much better these days. If you have $370, you can get the Monster Hunter version.
And I think I have to equip the chainmail. Yes. Second game in the Wonder Boy series, Hudson basically closed the. Cloned the. Closed or cloned the first ad, first game Adventure Island on the NES. Yeah, I, I guess you could say uh, the Adventure Island series was like a Monster Boy light. This thing you could get Hades and Breath of the Wild for 70? Oh, snap. Okay, I don't blame you for that. Hades and Breath of the Wild would be a great starting combo for the Switch. Like, that is a hell of a lot of video gaming content for that price. What store is, what store is offering that deal? That's really good. Oh, I guess hold A and then press left? No? How does... How am I supposed to use magic, dang it? Just so you don't get discouraged, Hades is ultimately a game about dying a lot. That's what I that's actually what I heard about Hades, is that you're you're not making progress if you're not dying an absolute buttload. Uh so, turning to the main menu. Okay, we have finally reached the end of the Genesis Mini, World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. Oh wow, Breath of the Wild 40? I did not know Breath of the Wild would be so cheap. I don't I don't know how it's 40. Um So if I were you, I would buy it right now before it goes back to 50 or even 60. Hades is always gonna be 25. Um <clears throat> But Breath of the Wild rarely ever dips down that cheap. World of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck, released 1992. When Mickey and Donald travel to the world of illusion, they find a mysterious and fantastical world waiting for them. Share moments of tension and wonder with Mickey and Donald as you explore a new land together. <laughs> Commitment to a joke. Illusion Shot Pictures presents Yeah, they managed some shockingly good uh, graphics out of these Disney games. I was always pretty impressed. Goofy Huey, Dewey, and Louie. One night, Mickey and Donald were practicing for their big magic act. One of the magic tricks surprised Donald and he fell backward, tipping over some scenery. Behind the scenery was a mysterious magic box with a drawn curtain. Said Donald. Oh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, replied Mickey, noticing a strange glow behind the curtain. But he was too late. Donald had already stepped inside. Poof, the curtain fluttered, Donald disappeared. Mickey stepped inside to inspect the box and poof, he disappeared too. Booming laughter echoed as Mickey and Donald fell through the darkness and an evil voice said, You are good magicians in your world, but here in my world of magic. If you can find and defeat me, I will show you a way out of this magic box.
This got a remake? I totally forgot it did have a remake. I'm gonna be Mickey. Wait, start was exit. Okay. Oh, start was exit as in start playing the game. Oh my god. This is a beautiful game for 92 on the Genesis. And that's so freaking Disney right there. To where defeating an enemy just trans transfigures the enemy into uh, into something else entirely. Okay, you got your point across, game. <laughs> this game, um, World of Illusion? Or was it Castle of Illusion that got the remake? Wait, right, there's a piece of candy over in the corner. Yeah, they, yeah, Disney, Disney kept going hard with the Illusion thing for Mickey Mickey games. Castle of Illusion got the remake. Yeah, Castle of Illusion was the one that was, I think, much cooler than this one. Those little soldier dudes look like evil Pinocchios or maybe even evil Mickeys because those are Mickeys same uh, uh, shorts and shoes all right oh okay All right, thanks for hanging out, Robert Headley. Always appreciate you stopping by. Take care of yourself, man. Rest well, sleep easy. All those, uh, all those other healing thoughts and vibes. Well, that's an interesting mechanic. No! Let's try this again. Okay, the platform stayed. Alright. <clears throat> Let's keep it going. Ooh. Spider webs! It's just not a video game until you have a brush with a spider. Turning a spider into a butterfly, really? Bedtime for Girl Tricks. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Girl Tricks. Thanks for bringing the good energy. Thanks for just always being here. You don't have to, but I'm glad you keep me. I'm, I'm glad you, you stick around all the time. I'm grateful for that. Why does that spider have Pete's face? Oh. This is an interesting gimmick lifted from Mario, actually. Just in a different, just conveyed in it with a different visual style. Oh, wow. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Gosh, imagine trying to speedrun this game. I could already move so slow. There's no dash. Like, you can't hold a button and force any running. Oh, well. Like, the dashing is just feeble.
Like, Mickey might go 33% faster when I dash. Breath of the Wild 50. Yeah, that's 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 more that's more what I expected. Sometimes with Target you can get away with like buy two get one free, which ends up being a really stellar deal. Um Uh-oh. Totally a boss room. Oh my gosh, this is almost like that Mega Man boss. Almost. Oh god, I don't want to see the belly of this boss, ever. I beat the boss! I got a treasure chest! Inside the chest, there's an ancient manuscript describing great magic. If you say the magic word Alakazam and press any one of the buttons, a flying carpet will appear. To control the carpet, hold down the jump button to fly up. If jump is not pressed, the carpet will descend. Use the direction pad to control your movement. Pokemon for Elise? You probably want to go with the Let's Go series, because uh, those are the... The Let's Go one, I think, is the one that it's uh, not as complex. Very kid-friendly. This looks like a good time to try out that new magic! A whole new world! A new way for Mickey to... Oh, she loves Eevee? Then that's perfect! Pokemon, let's go Eevee. Yeah, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, she's gonna lose her mind seeing an entire game with Eevee on the front of it. Wow, this is basically like a glorified swimming level. Cause I just or it's more like a glorified flappy bird, because I have to just keep tapping C to stay aloft. Oh, Thunder and Lightning. And fire. And rain. And instant terraforming. Holy crap. Scary. And all I have is this magic cape to defend myself. <laughs> Flappy bird with hazards. Yeah, just more varied hazards. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Ooh, that was scary. Oh no, we got boulders. We got boulders. And we have a cavern that is slowly coming down to crush me. And I might already be screwed. They just fucking murdered the shit out of Mickey! Oh wait, I have a run button. A feeble run button, but a run button nevertheless. Like, like that's like that's where this game is at. It doesn't, it, it doesn't even really feel like I have a run button available to me. So I had to like guess the rock that was gonna survive. What the shit? How does that work? This is like some fucked up Plinko. So, so I just have to fall and pray. I wonder where it's gonna restart me, just pure curiosity. Oh, it's it's gonna restart me right there. Okay, you know what, Mickey? 
Mickey Mouse, you've stolen my joy for the last time. So I'm going to say goodbye and thank you to the Sega Genesis Mini. And, um... So yeah, not exactly 15 minutes per game, obviously, because you get to a certain point with these mini consoles where it's like, well, yeah, it's a one-dimensional game and all like and all that. So uh, give me just just a minute here. Uh, let me set some let me set some things up here. Um, but I'm gonna bust out. I got like just enough time. I want to make sure I live up to my promise. I've got just enough time for 15 minutes of the Mega EverDrive Pro. So the Mega EverDrive Pro. Eh. Let me um, bring let me make myself large here. This beauty of engineering. Yes. Looks like a Sega Genesis cartridge. But it's so much more. Right up here, yes, we have ourselves a micro SD card. It goes right into that little slot there. And I've got many, many gigabytes of goodness stored on this thing. And I'm gonna set this up here. I'm gonna fire up this Genesis and have a good time with it. But I need to go back over here to this part and set and set some things up and that'll do and i need to reset my uh capture card for the new uh input resolution oh yeah scissors wait till i fire up this beast so i need to change this to that There we go. That will do nicely. Okay, so just a moment here. And oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Let's get that down and let's fire this up. So here within the Mega EverDrive Pro, the SD card is is king here. So come on, controller, give me some act. There we go. So I'm just gonna casually go in here into this Genesis folder. And because you asked so nicely at one point, Scissors Deep, I'm gonna give you some motherfucking battle toads. How, like, how do you like them apples? With some more funky music. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's fire this up for a few minutes and just you can start looking at all the little differences from most of us came up on the NES version. Like, there's a mild graphical facelift. But otherwise, rolls exactly as you remember it. You like Battletoads more than Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Okay, you, you, then you gotta tell me, Scissors, how is the Battletoads for Xbox One? Well, Xbox One and PC, rather. I mean, I know it's only 20 bucks, so... The expectations are set a certain way. Nope, don't need no stinking flies.
Elise and you play it all the time. It's classic Battle Toads. Oh, that's good. I'm glad they maintain the the soul of the Toads. Oh well, it's okay. I have five lives. There's a cool hover bike level and a level for menial office jobs. What? Always jump up there. The menial office job sounds hilarious. One of the office jobs is socializing with coworkers. <laughs> I mean, I actually dig that because what they're what they're really trying to do is give Battletoads perhaps a little bit of the treatment that they never got in the '90s by uh, by making sure they had a really hilarious kind of cartoon presence, and that was always one of the things that was relevant in those um, in those old cartoons. Is this, you'd have these you know big buff extreme brawler types, and um, and in spite of that, they would uh, you you'd, you'd sometimes find them. Um, just doing some absolutely dumb, boring shit. Also, is th this has got to be the most innovative first level boss ever, in my opinion. Like, first person view of the giant machine that's firing at you. Because they couldn't, uh, obviously they couldn't uh, fully convey that, like, that sense of scale of a gigantic, uh gigantic thing so they're like okay we'll just we'll just do it like this um so yes if i wanted to do something else with the genesis maybe maybe we also try to rock some rom hacks see if they go on uh if how well they play on real hardware like sonic one mega mix <laughs> Only case of second person gameplay. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> yeah, when they say Mega Mix, they freaking mean it. Control scheme, Mega Mix, or Classic. Supersonic music, on or off. The spike bug, off or on. A speed cap, off or on. Camera style, normal or extended. Just neat little tweaks to the Sonic formula. So let's fire up a no save game. And yeah, totally brand new, awesome Sonic Adventure. Um, I won't say it's all of them mixed, but it is a but it is a remix of sorts. Um, I guess I guess if you wanted more of um, if you wanted them mixed up in a slightly different way, let me see if I can dig up. Um, maybe maybe something like Sonic Classic Heroes would be more like um, more like what you would be seeking out. Um, yeah. Like part of what it's doing right here is, uh, it's it's giving a little bit of Sonic CD style camera movement too, which I find rather interesting. Just a way of making sure that you have different different ways of experiencing Sonic. Oh no! But over here. Yeah, you can see the. Ooh, ooh. Let me see if I can if I can nail that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like we've got some Green Hill Zone graphics, but we've got Sonic 3 music. It's just taking inspiration from all over the place with Sonic, and uh, and and giving us giving us something neat. I think. Thank you. 
And yes, even even a homing attack too, which is lifted from the Sonic Adventure games. Like, how cool is that? Oh, and I got myself a fire shield. And now just a regular blue shield. And there's a spin dash. The good spin dash. But also, I bet if I do the thing in Sonic CD, if I hold up, yeah, if I hold up and press a button, he charges that way. So, uh, if I wanted something more complete, let's see, did I put Sonic? Here we go. This one you might find interesting that's a bit more mixed up, but traditional scissors is the beauty of Sonic Classic Heroes. When you think of Sonic Heroes, but mixed into the 2D. Oh, Sonic 2 Yoshi? That that's that's what caught your eye? Not being able to play as all three of the Sonic heroes together like this? Yeah, I mean I mean we all get the gist of Sonic. And well I'm what I'm doing here is I'm pressing A and that helps me toggle between all three of uh, all three of the heroes. They play as a team here. It's really nice. Um, I'm not even sure if that ROM actually works on real hardware, but I guess we can find out. It works! Holy crap! Oh. Yep, go figure. It would eventually, uh, eventually have problems. So I'm gonna hit reset there, and then unleash the best part of this. Did I not hit reset enough? Oh, wow. That game crashed the, uh, crashed it so hard. I'm going to have to just, uh, forcefully power cycle like this. I know it, it'll play fine in an emulator at least. And I can hand you the ROM, uh, but we need to go into this CD folder. And because uh, this is for you art on hold, this is for you. Yeah. Yoshi fucked it up good. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave y'all with the intro to this. Lord Taco! Hey, what's going on, Lord Taco? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Um just playing around with the uh playing around with the Mega Everdrive Pro right now. Hope you're having a good night. The real hardware didn't want me to have Yoshi in uh, in a classic Sonic game. Of course, if you're emulating a Sega CD, you need to emulate a CD and all the slow read speeds involved. The EverDrive Life, I was very fortunate recently uh, to be able to acquire these. Standing silently in space, the world in the shadow of the blue star was once a lonely barren place, unfit for habitation. However, Alina took pity on that world and transformed it into a place of beauty and wonder. She called the new world Lunar. Time and circumstance soon forced Alina to populate Lunar with people from the blue star. And just as the blue st just as on the blue star, life was held in a delicate balance. Through times of peace, war, chaos, and battle, the blue star loomed large as the only constant in the new world. Thousands of years passed, burying the origin and purpose of the blue star in the sands of time. <laughs> Eventually, the inhabitants of Lunar forgot why the blue star was there or how it came to be. Interesting tactic to start a 50 hour stream into your already three hour stream. But all right. Oh, you know, just taking, you know, just abandoning my job. Lord Taco, you have a couple of them. Awesome. 
I've got, um, yeah, I've got, I've now got EverDrives for my N64, my uh, Super Nintendo, um, my Twin Famicom, and well, of course, my Genesis. So uh, I'm in a good place as well. <laughs> Just, and th and that's one of the, and that's one of the things that is kind of. Uh, one of those things you have to reconcile when it comes to real hardware and wanting to play certain games like um okay do you pay two hundred dollars for an everdrive or do you pick up um six high profile games for the console of your choice shuma bring it the butts and the boobs what's happening shuma hope you're doing well thanks for coming in <laughs> Didn't realize how much the games on your PlayStation 1 shelf have increased in value. Talking double beat. Yeah, art on hold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is legitimately a thing there. The 32-bit systems are... Um, the PlayStation isn't quite as nasty as like where the Saturn is, but a couple, a couple games in the, um, in the PlayStation library, they are heavy. Like, um, Symphony of the Night d doesn't go for any less than like 150 bucks. It's just so neat being able to play these Sega CD games right from the cartridge. And that's the other value proposition there is like. I buy this $200 Mega EverDrive Pro. I don't have to buy a Sega CD. All I need to be complete is a 32X. Those are pricey. Those are like $200. Art on hold. Lunar 2 complete and Buster Groove 1 and 2. Dang. Lord Taco, you can fill your Earthbound cart for more than what you paid for the FX Pack Pro. Oh, wow. Just, just the loose cartridge? Or do you have it complete? Silhouette Mirage. Yes, very valuable. Any box copies of WCW NWO Revenge? I can't say that I have Shuma. I, I apologize. That game is not much on my radar. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm not looking for any N64 games anymore because I already have like a good 20 something N64 games. So I'm kind of I'm kind of set there. Oh, I chose the wrong. That was not what I expected. Um, there we go. Wrong button. I press start instead of A. I just want to take in this intro here a little bit. Oh boy. How about that for game history right there? Sony Image Soft Game Studio on a Sega console. Just loose Earthbound goes for over 200. Holy crap. That's crazy pants. Shima, you lost your copy over the years. Been nostalgic. I totally get it. I totally get it. Um. N64 games are... I, I will... That game should be rather plentiful on the N64, and I would think a boxed copy would be not that expensive, like maybe a hundred bucks or something like that. Yeah, loose WCW NWO Revenge is ten bucks. Maybe all the way to Solar City, huh? Oh no shit. I'm Falco. You'll be hearing from me. Fifty three dollars, Shuma. The guy you're replacing, he had that same tough guy smirk on his face that you do. Till he hit the wall. They're out there now, blotting him up with handy wipes. <laughs> I always come back for more. Let's go, rookie! Take a deep breath, rookie. Yep, nice and affordable. You got it, Shuma. Don't you love the smell of the summers in the morning? Yeah, jump on it. It's, like it's buy it now, so... All things considered, really good. It's a it's a totally complete copy, and it looks really good too. Back 
factory jobs ain't worth scrap. I got some stuff in there. It's not all strictly legal. But it's just mine to keep you off the wall. Now, until you earn a better one, your call sign, dog meat. All right, climb aboard, dog meat. Uh, oh, I love this so much. Crash and burn. Crash and burn. The sewer jockeys come and they go. But down here, this is the hole. I give you a name. A friend. A boss. And a reason to live. You're gonna owe me big dog meat. And what's my payback? A million pounds of tube steak. That's all you gotta deliver today, hot shot. You nail this one run, and we got a one-way ticket to Solar City. Yeah, just just leave it. <laughs> leave it alone. You're good enough, dog meat. Let's find out. I'm your backseat disc trip, so don't screw up, huh? Hey, Captain! Transmit, you dirty little... Whoa! I'm working real good now, Mr. Ghost. Oh my gosh, what is that ugly thing sitting in the pilot seat? Catfish! Pilot accident file. Access. Run data. Evaluate. Oh, well, uh, 12 pilots missing, uh, three recoveries with extensive transmedial lobotometric... Oh, well, heck. They're dead. Uh, a complete cranial evacuation is a no-brainer, Mr. Ghost! Something down there sucked their brains out. Coordinates. Well, they were all down there in Sector 19. That's where Falco's headed. We better keep in close touch with her today. Well, I sure hope she stays out of Sector 19. Now, let's go like hey, that. Hey, Catfish. <laughs> come on. Let's go kick a little radigator butt, okay? Uh, well, not another bug hunt, Mr. Ghost. Oh, my God. No dog meat. <clears throat> Catfish needs a trip to Solar City worse than we do. It's awful dark and scary down there, Mr. Ghost, and it smells terrible. We are go for lunch. <laughs> okay, ignition on three. Ready? Three! Oh my god. Hey, I'm in love. Pretend it's a game. <laughs> Big Boss Senpai, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Long time no see, Big Boss. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> the critters at three, six, twelve. Way cool. Amnesia, excellent choice. Oh, just living the dream out here, you know, living the retro dream. I just decided to uh, start playing a little bit with my uh, with my Mega EverDrive Pro here, and I am freaking enthralled right now. Uh, just sampling a little bit of the goodness. This is uh, this is a little bit of uh, Sewer Shark here. Okay, I don't want to spoil that for myself because that looks super cool. Um, I guess now, see, I've never actually exposed myself to this game. I need to see the intro to this, and then I think. I can call it a night. So I hope you're doing good. Hope you've had a wonderful Tuesday, Big Boss Senpai. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate that very much. And thank you for entrusting me with your community. I am Manic Socratic. Joined occasionally. Well, joined all the time by my moderators, Gravebook and Navigator Bowman. But we rock the retro here three nights a week. And it's all good. Yeah, this... This game, along with Mortal Kombat, are why we have ratings on video games. Oh my god. No way. No way. I need to brace myself. I think I'm going to stay up late tonight now. Oh my goodness, it's a Princess Zao raid. What is going on? What? Way cool. it, it's not often you get to raid me. I am honored. What is going on, Princess Zao and Raiders? 
Hello, A Nickel Zero Eight. Welcome. Yeah, I am Manixocratic, joined by my awesome moderators, Gravebook and Navigator Bowman. And uh, tonight, I'm playing around with my Mega EverDrive Pro, Daniel Berserk. Hello. And Sarah. How is everything, Princess? Uh, do you have some fun tonight? I, saw, I think I saw you playing some hockey. Towards the Martins to spend the night. Your mission: protect those girls from whatever happened to the last ones. Oh, Daniel, you remastered it. Awesome. Last night, one of our agents got into the house and found some kind of weird security system. An actual Genesis controller? Every room and a series of traps. Our agents spliced an override into the security system, allowing you to have control of the cameras and the traps with this remote unit. Use the traps to capture anyone or anything that endangers the lives of those girls. But make sure you don't trap someone you should be protecting. Uh, one slight problem. The traps are protected with an access code. They won't work unless you enter the right code. Right now, the code is set to blue, and you have control of the traps. But anyone inside the house can change that code at any time. So pay close attention to what they're saying. Our override cable is here in hallway one. The way they focus on that controller is killing me. You lose control for good. This is my attack squad. And this is Kelly, one of my best undercover agents. She'll be arriving with the rest of the girls. I'm putting her life and the lives of those other girls in your hands, so don't even think of messing up. If you don't have the brains or the guts for this assignment, give the controls to someone who does. <laughs> the girls should be pulling into the driveway. You're wasting time. Get over there now! Dude! Looks like you're not up to this mission. Breaking contact. What? <laughs> what? What's happening? What in the shit is happening? A Hasbro production. Hasbro! See, I've never, I've never booted this game up before. I don't even know the first thing about Night Trap. I mean, I know about its existence. I know of the controversy it caused. Dana Plato, are you kidding me? They actually got like a recognizable name for this game. Computer programming. Clear. Commander Sims of the Sega Control Attack Team. <laughs> SCAT Mission 230. Five teenage girls have disappeared after spending the night at the old Lakeshore Winery House of Mr. and Mrs. Victor Martin and their children, Jeff and Sarah. Right now, another five girls are headed towards the Martins to spend the night. Your mission? Protect those girls from whatever happened to the last ones. Now listen up. Last night, one of our agents got into the house and found some kind of weird security system. Security system? In almost every room and a series of traps. Our agent spliced an override into the security system, allowing you to have control of the cameras and the traps with this remote unit. <clears throat> Use the traps to capture anyone or anything that endangers the lives of those girls. But make sure you don't trap someone you should be protecting. Uh... One slight problem. The traps are protected with an access code. They won't work unless you enter the right code. Right now, the. Oh! I hit the D pad and I already caused a uh, situation here. Oh my. Yeah, I'll dawn on you if you don't get on the ball. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't want to be playing this or getting too deep into it because I don't want to like ruin myself or anything. I'm just basically taking a Sega CD tour here and uh, and seeing what's going on and maybe some of the enhancements of this as well. Um, I didn't remember Jurassic Park coming out for Sega CD. Yeah, I remember, uh, I think Limited Run Games did some great packages for Night Trap. And yeah, Snatcher is super good. Hideo Kojima uh, at his at his best. Um, and the Sega CD version seems to be, it still to this day seems to be the right one to play.
<laughs> save my soul. My, my soul is past saving way beyond it. All of the Jurassic Park games back in the day were terrible in their own special way. So let's see what this one's got. Shuma, you found a Pokemon all 807 shiny, non shiny transfer on eBay? Can't you believe this kind of thing is legit? Consider it's already being sold. Oh, wow, that you could hack that for yourself in a minute, though. You are heading to Jurassic Park. Your mission find the eggs of seven species of dinosaurs. Take the eggs to the visitor center and put them in the incubator. Work fast. You only have 12 hours. You survived the crash. But your life is still in danger. Okay, oh, what? Is this a point and click adventure game? What the shit? Oh my god. That's exactly what this is. <laughs> Glad you like the voiceover, princess. Okay, they could have made like an enhanced version of the Genesis Jurassic Park. But they gave us this. <laughs> that music for transitioning between scenes is hysterical. Okay, I guess I get to go through the gate. Okay, I'm at the visitor center. Neat. It's like I'm actually traversing through Jurassic Park. Uh-oh. Why is the music scary-ish? Inspect. <clears throat> okay, I can change the cursor. Okay, I'm going to save this for like another day when I want to just play something terrible. Um, ooh, I actually got to see how this is going, uh, how Lords of Thunder rocks on the Sega CD, because I remember it being really good on the uh, on the Turbo Graphics, you know, because Princess Zah is here. You have to do something Turbo Graphics related. I um, think they'll make another Jurassic Park movie. I thought one was already in production right now. Oh, baby. They got the soundtrack intact. Maximum 80s butt rock right here with the shmup. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's make... Oh, whoa, whoa. There's normal, hard, and then super. There's no easy. <laughs> Like, you could tell they were listening to a shitload of Guns N' Roses when they made this game. Like, the hairspray is out, there's already like six lines of cocaine on the table. Eh, no upgrades right now. I'm okay. I don't need to burn any of my credits. Oh yeah. You're shredding. And we're collecting blue gems, which is what you do. Ooh, I just caused hell to rain down from the heavens. Huh, they seem slightly, slightly different and like, I don't know, remixed from what I enjoyed on the, um, on the, on the Turbo Graphics Mini. I don't know if I want to say it's enhanced, but it definitely feels different in some way. I ain't mad. I'm just like, oh, okay. Music is still rocking. 
it seems a little easier. Seems. I actually really appreciate how there's that aspect of um, if you if you are aggressive and you get close to the enemy, you do a ton of damage with a melee attack. Like I, I feel like that's a really genius mechanic for a shmup. Also, health, health is cool. Being able to being able to refill your health bar during the middle of all this mayhem is good. Oh, that looked like possibly a power-up. Good lord. I'm gonna die shortly. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. And, and, and playing games like this... Just it, it it gets me in my weird retro gamer feelings because I almost feel like if if I had to compare game libraries, it, it it ends up kind of feeling like like the like the Genesis picked up where the Turbo graphics left off. Like it's really unfortunate that the the, the, the Turbo didn't get more love. Um, but in the in the end, uh, you know things are what they are. Yeah, this is an amazing game. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think here of how I wanted to um, maybe maybe one more. Let me whack that reset button and um, what's going to be? The, oh yes, an arcade freaking classic right here. At least I hope it's somewhat something like the arcade version. I just love that, love that startup for the Sega CD. <laughs> it just warms my heart every time. Yeah, I'm going to give this about five minutes and then, then I'll think I'll call it a stream. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight on a quest to rescue the fair princess from the clutches of an evil dragon. Don Bluth, baby. You control the actions of a daring adventurer finding his way through the castle of a dark wizard who has enchanted it with treacherous monsters and obstacles. In the mysterious cavern, <laughs> I'm glad you like Lords of Thunder, Scissors Deep. <laughs> Don't judge it based on this port. Oh, of course not. Like I grew up in the arcades, and of course it was in, it was you know perfect. Well. Perfect, you know, VHS quality video and all that, so. Um. <laughs> How do I climb up? How do I climb up? <laughs> Mine is 100% true HD quality. Yes, you can see all of the dithering. I'm like pressing up in hopes of climbing back, but no, I'm, I still die. I think this is the soul of Dragon's Lair. You just keep freaking dying for reasons that you can't even can't even comprehend, and none of the action buttons even make sense. <laughs> Gosh, I promise I'm pressing buttons right now. Oh yeah, I actually paused it. See, the controller does work, and I am I am I am pressing things. I'm I'm trying to influence the action, like I'm pressing up and mashing some buttons to try to cause some some sort of defense or escape. And now I'm officially dead dead. <clears throat> sure, I'll continue so I can keep cycling through death there. <laughs> There's a bit of la yeah. <laughs> but like, what button is the optimal button? Like, I, I feel like I'm supposed to crash through um, But I'm also supposed to be able to like maybe swing my sword or climb back up. I feel like there's there's supposed to be some options here. There's supposed to be a way of escaping this. 
Like, I wonder how many people like rented this game or even purchased it outright and uh, just kept getting absolutely wrecked right here. Or actually, I wonder... Oh, friend. Oh, friend. Hello. <laughs> yes, this freaking game. I actually wonder if this game... Um, let me check here. Certain games might not like the fact that I'm using a six button controller. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to jump in, but that's the thing. I'm supposed to, I'm in, in an FMV game. I'm merely just pressing certain buttons at exactly the right time to, um, to, to try to avoid or create a, create a certain scenario here. And none of this is happening. And I remember in the arcade version, like it, uh, there would be like flashing lights that would tell you, you know, press press a button or uh, or move your joystick a certain way. Um, or maybe I just hold up. Nope. All right, I think I want to give this like an <laughs> like an like a concerted effort here. Yeah, like there's there's a certain timing, there's a certain rhythm to it that uh, that I recall. But being able to nail down that rhythm is can be tough. Um, I'm just gonna assume that the sword button is the A button, or unless I might have to like reconfigure my uh, reconfigure my controller to operate in three button mode. Yeah, because I'm just mashing the A button and it doesn't seem to be liking that one bit. <laughs> Scissors DP wouldn't have the patience. Like I wonder if I legit have to put this controller back into three button mode in order for it to for the game to like recognize that I'm pressing the correct thing. I feel like that might be something I have to do, but there's no like mode button on this retro bit controller, so I'm I'm look I'm like looking up the manual on this controller to try to figure out what's going on. I I swear I do enjoy this retro bit controller. It's just uh you know, a little bit odd. Um Charging, Genesis. Um, LED will be red, indicating six button mode. Blue if it's in three button mode. To switch between the new modes, hold start B until it changes color. Okay, LED is blue now. And now that I've died a shitload of times. We okay, game? I'm gonna assume sword is A. No, it wasn't. Okay, is <laughs> what are the controls for this game? Well, that, that that's also also the other thing. The arcade cabinets were were typically. Oh, I did swing my sword. Uh, this is this is happening on a Genesis. Well, on a Genesis with a Mega EverDrive Pro. Okay. You have to do a sword swipe and then you climb up because they hesitated. Like I have a walkthrough right here after falling through sword and then up. Yeah, it's it's a it's a rhythm and it, there's a there's a ton of trial by error. Like I can't believe that this game even freaking exists. So sword is B. This was originally for this was all Sega CD AJC. The the Genesis by itself couldn't handle full motion video. That's that's why the Sega CD was uh, was full of full motion video type things. Like especially if we were to boot up the Sylvester Stallone classic Cliffhanger. Yeah, like they had the audacity to uh, to make a freaking cliffhanger game, and I think it was a Sega CD exclusive too. Had her on Game Gear. Okay, yeah, look at that gorgeous full motion video. Totally groundbreaking to have in a video game. Travis here was smart enough to bring along a tracking device.
and skip past this, and then the actual game is incredibly disappointing by comparison. Yeah, it's just an incredibly shitty beat em up with good music. <laughs> like, is this not the dream? Right here. There's also Demolition Man for the Sega CD, but I'll, I'll save that for another day. This music has no business being this epic for such a shitty, stiff game. Oh yeah, I mean, it's the 90s, disappointment abounds, when everyone was convinced that, oh yeah, you just needed to put the barest minimum effort possible into, into a video game, and it will sell just merely based on the license and the star power, because no one actually unders- because a lot of people never actually understood video games. Maybe I should try to lock down a copy of this game and be a speedrunner for it. <laughs> oh no, oh no! I fell down the cliff and I'm probably gonna get a- oh, I was expecting some sort of cinematic for, uh, for falling down. That would have been incredibly hilarious. Okay, um, I'm gonna freaking call it, you guys. It's been an awesome stream so far. I appreciate you all. Princess Za, uh, thank you for the raid. Um, appreciate all your community coming through. Big Boss Senpai, thank you for your raid. Scissors Deep, I appreciate you. Daniel Berserk, good to see you. Um, and everyone else who hung out tonight. All you wonderful sweethearts. Uh, Ghost Princess, Itty Bitty Ruby, Panic Sloth, Art on Hold. Uh, you've all been freaking fantastic. Emma Cartoon, I appreciate you too. Um, I will see you guys again on Friday night. Man, it goes modern. I am still working my way through Ori in the Blind Forest, and I am absolutely loving it. I hope you have a good night, Princess Za, and I think the right thing to do, the only thing to do, uh, is to give a raid to our good friend, the Combat King, and uh, if, you, uh, if you would not mind, uh, you don't have to use my emotes. But my raid call is, it is a manic panic. Feel free to use whatever emotes you happen to have on hand. Just let them know it's a manic panic. So uh, I'm going to head on out. Next stream is on Friday. Uh, maybe I'll see a few more of you again later when the time comes. So thank you all. Take care.